Good evening, viewers. Thank you for joining today's webinar, curated exclusively for amidst the COVID-19 lockdown by Team Remarkable Education. U.S. very renowned Senator Elizabeth Warren once said, "A good education is a foundation of a better future." So, is everyone cut out to get the best scores possible, or? Are there alternatives to pursue our dreams and passion? Let's find that out today in education, then, now, and future. This evening, we have three very accomplished individuals with us. Their resume is so impressive, and their experience is as rich as gold mine. Our speakers are deep rooted in the field of education. Has been their strong forte. Through and through, our first speaker today is Mr. Vaibhav Doshi. Mr. Doshi is a native of Jodhpur, Rajasthan, a Bachelor of Engineering in Mechanical, and an inspiring educator and researcher. A yearning in design and develop a school that would free children from the kind of conditioning present in some states in India. He's running a 22-year-old school along with his sister Archita Tatia, founder of Alma Mater, a very famous institution here in Jodhpur. Along his journey of growing into becoming the force behind the system implemented in the school, he has, to his credit, many learning journals, journeys, and courses. He has interned for two years under the. Complete guidance of Kiran Kiran Veer Sethi, founder of the Riverside School, Ahmedabad. He has updated himself with the most notable being the courses by the Harvard University, making thinking visible, and teaching for understanding, and train himself for Rejoy Milli, Italy preschool pedagogy. He has strong hold on linking technology with education. And designing a curriculum that promotes promotes 21st century skills, the institute has been instrumental in providing the city space where children experience a confluence of Western and Indian philosophies. Jodhpur is rich in history and has an old world charm with a very unique ecosystem. It is this that the school. Taps and the curriculum is designed around making it extremely contextual to this part of the world. Truly, it is the school of future, and that's what personally I feel from inside. The team of Remarkable Education welcome you on board, Mr. Doshi. Thank you, thank you so much, uh, uh, Prachi, ma'am. Uh, I'm, I'm very, uh, I feel blessed to share my insights. And uh, the last night itself, the moment you told me there is there is a plethora of almost 100 to 150 questions, I was like, wow! I mean, people have so many questions, and I, if if I could I just address a few answers for them, that would be a great thing. Thank you. Well, moving further, another great personality to introduce you, and number of students those who are waiting for. Uh, another guest speaker is Mr. Sandeep Singh Sishodia. An academic coordinator, MSc Mathematics, B.A. with 16 years of experience as a senior lecturer, P.G.T. Yes, one and only from D.P.S. Pal Road, Jodhpur. He says, "Work hard for self, but for the people who are seeking success, just because of you. Work hard not for yourself, but for the people who are seeking success, just because of you." He strongly believes that every child can learn, not the same day and not the same way. A very warm welcome, sir. Students are all waiting and pouring for you. So you on, so you on mute. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much, Prachi ma'am. Uh, I really, well, uh, I really very much uh, excited for this uh, uh, webinar. Since Ans told me about uh, sir, you are invited for that thing, so I'm really uh, very much uh, enthusiastic and uh, anxious to get the question from the student side. Thank you. A great fan following, Mr. Sushodhya. आपके बहुत सारे बच्चे हैं यहाँ पर आज. Okay. Moving further, yes, yet another 
super great first personality, our third guest speaker for the day, Mr. R.C. Joshi. Yes, Mr. Ramesh Chand Joshi, sir, from Prince from L.K. Singhania. He's the principal of L.K. Singhania Education Center, Gotel. He's holding qualification like B.A., M.A., B.A., known for implementing operational plans for ensuring smooth running of the school and administration, providing effective leadership for effective professional development and promoting high standards of student learning, spearheading curriculum planning, professional development, and implementing educational programs for which he has been recognized with numerous awards as well. A very warm welcome, sir. Uh, good evening, Prachi, and good evening, Vaibhavji and Sisodhiaji. And no doubt, it's a great opportunity for we all. And uh, we, if we are able to help the student in satisfying their query, certainly this day is going to be a beautiful one for all of us. Thank you for calling. Well, moving further, with a lot of questions, the first question which we have received from our student directly. Yes, for Mr. Bhabhav, sir. While not an entirely new approach, as we believe from your profile as well, you always look for something unique across. Student places have superseded the typical classroom approaches of the past. What are the new avenues and major changes for education in the future? Do you, you know, do you accept or think which can be helpful in another way? And like the way currently even we are dealing with. So um, I think uh, uh, that's, a, that's a beautiful question uh, that you have asked, uh, my dear child. Uh, uh, it, it's important to understand here that uh, a year ago when Alameda was thinking about this entire moment of pandemic and how learning is going to happen and how are we going to ensure that the learning sustains, you know, that the understanding is the most important part for a child's journey. It's not about remembering the formulas. It's not about remembering the theorems or, you know, just reading up the chapter. Uh, uh, I feel that uh, the, the future is, is very, very bright. That is one part because there are two aspects to it. OK, uh, the pandemic has proven one thing very clearly for all the schools and educators that schools can run online also, offline also. And when I say online and offline, I say schools can run 24-7, 365 imagine that you're coming to school for eight hours a day okay until now you are trying to understand the pythagoras theorem or the molecular structures of chemistry or the uh, biomolecules in biology or maybe understanding the nuances of the syntax and text uh, into a reading uh, module or doing experiments so what if i told you that the future of education is something that which which you can learn at home i don't need to teach you but in school, I can do more projects with you. We can go for more visits. We can do, be more creative in our thinking. Uh, you know, we can have more meaningful interactions. We can we can do a lot of designing. Uh, and actually, I personally feel that when we're talking about the 21st century skills, the future is this only. So imagine a scenario where you're saying that school uh, is a place where you go and learn. But people say that learning doesn't need any space. So if learning is not bound to places and spaces, then can we say that in school I'm doing more projects, I'm meeting more people, I'm taking more interviews, okay, to understand their lifestyles, I'm becoming, I'm learning how to be more empathetic, and I go home, I log into my Khan Academy, and I learn, okay, what is the logic behind uh, Pythagoras theorem, and the teacher has uh, uploaded a Khan Academy video for you, and the worksheets are there, and you do it, and when you come back to uh, back, back to school the next day, you're there with your doubts. So great educators are there to, uh, you know, push the understanding, not to get the understanding in place. So when I'm pushing the understanding and when you come to me with doubts, it makes more sense because it shows that you put those efforts. So I think the complete future of education now is going to talk more with respect to synchronous and asynchronous learning, where the synchronous is something where more meaningful things will happen in school. Schools will become more independent and There'll be a lot of, uh, you know, uh, risk taking with the children. Uh, you might be going to machine labs. You might be going to computer labs. You might might be designing programs for, you know, um, for manufacturing industries and all of these. Okay. And at home, you're doing that, that whole academic part. 
so prachi ma'am i think uh, that is something very excited uh, that, that is something that excites me a lot about uh, the the future of education yeah i hope i was able to address the question <laughs> well very very well explained sir i absolutely believe it's not about space it's about understanding and then learning can happen anywhere and also at the same time i personally believe you know jagah hai to kahin bhi matlab wherever you are wo hum bana lete hain and then when you start observing when you start accepting and it is easy to easy way out so that you inspire others as well while learning so acceptance is more important than putting ourselves into different spaces and thinking that these are certain situations so these are i personally also believe that these are all small small hurdles these are small small different challenges or different speed breakers which we do not even actually look upon while crossing the road so one another speed breaker for all our students do not look upon this as another challenge yes this is another way of learning where wherever we are but we will definitely explore inspire and accept well moving further so show dear sir it a bahut hi important question student aap hi ke humse puchna chahte hain and then he sent this question 20 times and insisted me to ask you we all know school are virtual aaj ke date mein sari some sab virtually padhai kar rahe hain but no one was ready to face this pandemic they are all ready to study virtually but pandemic is something which is actually hitting them and when it specially comes to mathematics which is actually very difficult for them to understand so they expect their faculty in front of them what were the major challenges faced by the school by implementing these current you know model so like the way you are currently teaching aap kis tarike se apne maths ko lekar ke aur subjects ko lekar ke students ke sath mein work karne ki different tarike se koshish kar pa rahe so because the student is uh, actually yes yes ma'am actually there are three strong pillar for motivation uh, uh, to the students abhav swabhav or prabhav abhav definitely someone is deprived from something then uh, that uh, student is studying hard just because of he, he or she know that if i will not study then problem will definitely arise in my family second thing is prabhav and the person is highly influenced from someone and they are studying hard and swabhav means a child is automatically self motivated and he, he or she is studying hard now one thing very important that is happening here is prabhav the child children the, those who are uh, not self motivated teacher usually force them to motivate and those student are deprived a lot nowadays and they are not able to do very good job now what we are doing here in order to bring them in mainstream we are working hard with them by giving extra uh, time uh, in whatsapps and by giving extra time for them in, after classes and th this time is uh, now uh, webber sir rightly told that this time canvas reaches from a uh, 24 hours and 7 days and it is really really very very tough time for us as well at this moment uh joshi sir i would like to have your input as well since it is about school uh, uh see uh, the same question i have to answer yes sir uh, see uh, in the present situation if you look into some of the very you can say challenges high challenges are first about when we shift from the chalk talk way of teaching to the complete technology based teaching training of the teachers as well as student was quite challenging and it was not only training of teachers it was the change in mindset and no doubt school leaders and school management they really worked very hard over this training of the student as well as of the teachers and other thing was technical issues because we are shifting from offline to online internet connectivity then time management and very important is motivation and it was not only external motivation it was 
self motivation where we have to gear up the teacher as well as the student that they have to go up their own because offline teaching is entirely different from online teaching and in online teaching you have to engage and empower your students and engaging a student is not that much easy which is in offline classes because offline classes physically everything within the class now here the physically things are not in your control so there the self motivation play a very vital role and no doubt schools have really worked hard teacher really worked hard and they develop a type of emotional bonding which is was very much required as i earlier said ki it's a time where students are also under mental stress so that was quite challenging for the schools that how to help the child to come out of it so these are the some of the challenges all the schools globally facing when they shift from offline to online uh ma'am you're on mute yes uh, very very well explained sir sorry sir um, joshi sir it was quite in detail and i believe uh, my student would have received the answer and she is pouring out her heart there in the chat box so definitely she would have understood um uh, web of sir another important question how difficult or easy is it to support you know your other family member with this learning model in your life i mean because uh, i believe it's a totally different question but while coming up with this virtual understanding explaining and specifically with younger kids you know because my son is also there so i know uh, while learning with the kindergarten and preschool it's absolutely different and with the family members and we can compare school as a family and our family as a personal family as well but i would like to have your opinion here over to you sir uh ma'am your voice is echoing actually i'm sorry um my question uh we want to repeat the question one yeah i i understood the question but your voice was echoing oh. so uh i think that uh, uh this is one question uh that has constantly intrigued me a lot uh i think uh, last year in the month of uh, march 23rd 24th when i came to know that such a pandemic has come and we were not prepared pretty much okay uh i'm going to divide this entire answer into two parts one is my professional and one is my personal okay uh i'm personally very passionate about uh, linking technology and education and uh, i have been uh, working a lot in it but i think uh, the la- the the first uh, four months i think uh, that was the uh, uh, april may june and july it was on an average 16 hours of working on uh, 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 on on something what uh, uh, joshi sir clearly said that uh, it was very difficult to shift from the you know from the school approach to the digital approach online uh, how to train what to train what apps to use and how to make it happen so i think initially it was uh, 16 hours a day and and we all know very well that uh, you know whenever we we try to new, do new things uh, that extra time that extra effort is always required right until you see you can't expect the results to come out then okay but then uh, those 16 hours a day uh, for me uh, were uh, were were amazing that is one part okay and and uh, there were so many uh, members in my family who were saying that why are you not testing what's wrong with you and i i used to i used to uh, tell them one thing only that i need to crack this i mean we need to crack this as teachers we need to crack this as a school i mean and something has to be done around it you know and uh, eventually i'll tell you that that 16 hours has to ha- uh, reduced to 12 hours and the 12 hours is now reduced to 8 hours so i'm saying that that one year of effort where i was not able to give time to my family i'll be very frank to, uh, with you here uh, but I- i'm live I-, i can apply that right uh, uh, it was it was so essential uh, that uh, uh, that support word that uh, i got from my family uh kept me going and 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 it's it's just because of this that today the kind of model that alamater has got for uh, you know uh for uh, for the entire working with children and working with teachers it is it is it is now very smooth it's like a uh, it's like a river that's now flowing together initially many tributaries were joining and we just trying to fill the water and trying to go ahead and just had to stir the sheep but uh, but this time uh, i think this year it's it's far far more easier i mean 
the transition is very smooth from the previous year. So yeah, I think uh, that has been the journey for me. That was my personal and professional combined together, I, I would suppose. Yeah. Well, it's just wow. And the kind uh, way schools have actually worked upon it, definitely hats off. And obviously, none of the child, no one can shine bright without their teachers, you know. Guru, Guru hi bache ka guru hota hai. And that's how it starts from day one. Pehle ma, and then school. And later, school is first, even when a child comes back home, only thing what they say is, nahi, do ma'am ne padaya hai, wahi sahi hai. And now my child is even what he or she is listening on, you know, onto the platform. That's what is right. No matter what, what your mom is saying or your anyone else, uh, any other elder member is saying in the family. So definitely, but the kind of efforts, definitely what schools and teachers are putting across and paying attention, trying to gather attention among uh, parents, teachers, students, and the entire school holding and working virtually to have management of not one way, absolutely both the ways, which I've been seeing working with schools closely, that with their management, one, one side, and also with the, all the students and parents. So these are three different areas and school as a management committee, it's really very difficult uh, job. And hats off commendable, absolutely. Well, with the next question, Sishodhya sir, how concerned are you about uh, students' academic growth uh, right now? Jaisa ki aapke statement mein tha ki bachya har bachya pad sakta hai, but padhane ka tarika alag hona chahiye, har bachya seek sakta hai. So I really want you to, uh, want to ask you this question because now you are teaching everyone virtually. So how much concern and how much time and energy currently and how are you particularly handling this situation? Sir, yes, very, very good question asked by you, ma'am. Actually, we, uh, being an academic coordinator, I have a lot of responsibility for my school. And regarding this, we are very much concerned about academic performance of our students. As they are hold, uh, they are hiding their face uh, and real perform performance easily behind the camera. That is the most important that it, I would like to say with you. As they are hiding their face and real performance easily behind the camera. We are not sure whether they are actually uh, what actual performance they have. When we try to take uh, academic, academic test online, most of the students get uh, 48 marks out of 50. But the real performance, we know very well when we will take pen and paper test, the student usually, uh, same student usually uh, uh, get only seven or eight marks. So it is very, very tough time that uh, how, to, uh, how to grow their academic, uh, academically. And mathematics, accountancy, physics, chemistry, these are skill-based subjects. And just because of their skill-based subject, we require a lot of illustration, a lot of pedagogical approach, a lot of diagrammatic approach. And these all things uh, sometimes does not help online classes. Because what we're trying to show in three-dimensional geometry, we try to show better, we try to understand this angle, that angle. But more, most of the time, students usually not get those things easily, uh, especially uh, uh, diagrammatical approach, uh, approach based question. As far as theory is concerned, most of the students get that thing. In uh, mathematics, hardly 15% to 20% questions, 20% uh, uh, syllabus is there, which is required a lot of skills. In those uh, chapters, uh, we required a lot of efforts. So uh, we are very much concerned about those three, four chapters, like three dimensional geometry and uh, uh, and few uh, vectors analysis. So these diagrammatic based uh, topic, we require a lot of uh, hard work uh, from teacher side and as well as from student side as well. Well, sir, I believe so the kind of efforts Similarly, when I was asking Webhav sir as well, the same related question. So would you like to discuss something on this topic, Webhav sir? Uh, I completely second all the thoughts of what uh, Sanip sir is saying here. I, I totally agree with that. Uh, personally, for me uh, and for, uh, uh, for children, you to understand here that uh, uh, the social emotional well-being is, is one of the most important part 
that connects me uh, to my learning. So uh, if uh, uh, these are the times that yes, for sure, we have to look at the learning gap, we have to look at the learning curve, is it going down? And yes, it, it's a frank that in English and mathematics, even UK and US studies have clearly told, even, even Cambridge International has clearly told that then you, you will see a dip. Yes, the dip is going to be there. Uh, it, it's worrying. Uh, it, it, it does create a lot of tension as a teacher in the head and as Sir said, you know, that many skills are required. But what I personally feel, adding on to what Sir said, is that uh, these are the times of building relationships, you know. To, uh, because uh, as you know, in our previous talk, uh, uh, as uh, Josh Sir was telling that uh, they're not able to move out. There's no independence. Uh, how can we show that uh, we love, we care? How can we show that compassion uh, uh, for children? Okay, because I personally feel that if if that love, care, compassion, and that emotional bond between you and me is there as a as a teacher and a child, okay, uh, even if I'm not learning hundred percent as in school, but if, even if I'm learning that seventy five percent, that seventy five percent will stay stay there, and I will only have to work on the twenty five percent when the child comes back to school, right? So, so it is very essential uh, for, for all of us as teachers and specifically for all the children who are here, you know, it's important that you have that one favorite teacher, you know, contact with that teacher, call that teacher, build your relationships. And, and, you know, I'm telling you, your learning will come in place because we're there for your learning to get in place. But, but your social emotional learning, what is going in your heart, what is going in your brain, is, is something happening there? That is something what we're not able to connect with. And I remember when I was in school, I used to see them physically, just by the body approach, just by the drooping shoulders and, you know, the head down. I used to ask them, all well? Sab theek hai na? Kuch, kuch baat karni hai? Session baat mein karenge, chalo. Aad session cancel karte hai, baat karte hai. You know, so just that, you know, chai pe charcha, ya fir, you know, coffee, uh, just sit over a coffee and talk and discuss, or that bubble time. I, I feel that is something that uh, children are missing. Uh, for sure, yeah. Definitely, definitely, hundred percent. Joshi, sir, if we can have uh, your views onto the same, please. I'm, uh, I'm very much agree with the uh, Sandeep sir as well as Webo sir. That uh, no doubt, it's a very uh, tough time. But the way uh, we people from the education center uh, sector handled it, uh, everyone deserve for a round of applauses. Because it was not easy to make this great shift, and we are able to. And when we, I talk about a student, no, whether you take offline or online, the role of teacher is very important. When you started today, you, you we are talking about Mr. Sandeep, and the way the students are eager to listen him, they are listening him is online. So it is not about offline and online. It is about what you are going to deliver as a teacher whether that emotional bonding is there, whether there is a value addition or not, whether there is a utility or not, whether you are creating interest or not. If you able to do so to some extent, what dent is caused by the online teaching that can be neutralized. So therefore, I feel that in making the student in a comfort zone, the role of teacher is very important. And to some extent, the teachers played this role successfully. Salute to all lovely, great, respectful teachers. So yes, by applauding, definitely. And the kind of efforts every single faculty is definitely putting up hardship. They are paying attention, giving their enough personal and professional and everything from their end and absolutely tackling since the last pandemic to now and struggling with it but with the only one agenda to teach and make their students learn that's what one thing when a true teacher give and you know try work hard obviously they are all ready but with one single thing in their mind ki kaise bhi karke apne student tak so this comes from here and definitely when they are trying to behave in their in their kids child uh, kids are hard so it's that easy so it's just the connection between the student and uh, student and the teacher which is going from one way to another hats off hats off definitely another important question uh, joshi sir this was again specifically came for you in the past week 
how many students have been there regularly in your virtual sessions because obviously you've been living spending time with your students there in the campus so you know about in and out about them they for many of the, your students i have been there personally and all these kids were very very much ready for them you are just like father and that's what they have been saying so they've been waiting they've been listening but still the kind of problem the comparison we have been doing the kind of problem which other institutions are facing where students go you know behind the camera and save themselves sometime only available on chat or sometime you know all these uh, silly things so how about how was your experience so far over to you sir you talk about uh, regularity during the online classes no doubt uh, it's a very tough a uh, job because in offline classes it is enforced because physically one is supposed to be present in the class if the class is 10th is 35 all 35 faces you will find within the classroom but during the online classes no doubt in the initial stages regularity was a great concern but again i will stress on that you have to motivate your students you have to make them to understand that what is important for them and you don't have any other option left so once that realization came to the student that regularity started improving like initial stages if i say in 2020 when we started this online classes in april may or even in uh, you can say july so the regularity was very less but then parent also realized children also realized initially there was a type of you can say Uh, cre uh, created something was created that how much time the student will be on the screen this will happen that will happen but ultimately when the everybody accepted it that we have no other option left the only thing is that if you ensure more regularity you have to make it more interesting because making the child to sit for 4 hours or 5 hours in front of the screen is not possible so we have to look into that luxury part also so we had got very good time management where we have given different slots in between we have given the intervals and time to time not only we have got syllabus based studies we have some other interesting activities also online activities and by this way not only in our school because we are in the link of other schools also they also follow the same so they all the schools were able to improve the regularity of the student during the online but still i will say if you compare with the offline no doubt the regularity is comparatively less well definitely very very well explained sir and i believe as alma mater alma mater always has totally different approach of uh, you know treating and making their students learn and experiencing things so while experiential learning moving to virtual world so what will be your take on the same question the students do the same with your sessions as well or in the last past few weeks how was your experience with the students over to you sir uh, uh i totally second with thoughts of joshi sir that initially it was a struggle for period there was a you know problem with resources the connectivity network nahi aa raha hai video mode off and all of this but i think uh, uh you know when we are trying to evolve uh this is some very basic uh, speed breakers as you told pachi ma'am uh, that we all face and uh, uh it's it's okay i mean it's okay if network is not available we 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 just have to trust the child right uh for me if you ask that uh, uh how have we shifted uh, the entire model of alma mater with the with the most interesting approach uh, on campus with more hands on you know experiments and very less very less uh, talk and talk and very less whiteboard work uh uh i think uh, this has been a very very beautiful journey for me personally and for my teachers and for my children also okay uh we were able to go to hampi from sitting here in jodhpur we were able to go to uh, one of the best museums of the world sitting here in jodhpur uh we were able to do the same experiment into simulators uh sitting here online and uh, our constant approach uh, around this uh, prachi ma'am was that uh, 
we have to focus and ensure is the understanding falling in place or not. So uh, for Alma Mater, uh, this journey of shifting from real life experiments to simulations, from uh, uh, seeing documentaries uh, in school around civilizations to literally going and visiting those, uh, uh, being a part of those places uh, virtually, as if I'm standing there, shifting from coding in school to coding online, uh, shifting from, um, you know, uh, my physical home visits where we go to every child's house to understand what is the entire social emotional well-being culture that is there to going into online model uh, shifting from admissions uh, physical to admissions online i think it has totally told us that uh, schools now are not limited to timings uh, the the www means the world wide web but for alma mater it means whatever whenever and wherever Right. So it, it, it really helps us to get all things together. And uh, uh, I'm pretty much sure uh, that uh, the attendance, if you last for the last one week uh, for my classes, has to be 100 percent. And overall, if you have to look at the attendance tracking that we are doing uh, for children now, currently in the last week or the last month, I would say more than 95 percent children are coming on board. Uh, yes, uh, it is very important also to understand that uh, and this for all the teachers and all the school leaders who are here who are attending this seminar and uh, uh, that uh, it's okay if the child is not able to attend. Okay, it's it's okay that uh, there is some some pandemic uh, impact in the house. Uh, uh, and if I as a teacher will not understand who else will. Right. And that's where I'm proud to share here uh, Prachim, that Alamed teachers have taken individual one-on-one -on -one sessions also uh, and we have shared session recordings also and if the parent is not able to understand we are training the parent also so yeah i mean uh, this is how uh, we have been able to still sustain uh, what alma mater truly believes in yeah wow so hats off again once again so moving from practical to experiential and now you are giving world two to all your students that's amazing well, one of our student or there's someone on the uh, chat box is asking what or what is the greatest uh, challenge do you teachers face in the current situation? Joshi, sir, I would like to ask you this question. Uh, that was challenge also, but at the same time, uh, further it was converted into a gift also. The challenge was online teaching for the parents in the offline. There are two parties, the student and teacher. But when you go with the online, the third party also and enter in your class is the parent. And parent is sitting in the class as a critic. So in online classes, the role of the teacher was not only to only to satisfy the student. It was to satisfy the parent also. Because regularly parent is looking into the things happening during your classroom teaching. But that was the time when the teacher proved that they are worthful. Even in my school, I was surprised to see that once we completed the circle of online classes in 2020 and when the student reported back in their hostels, on 18th of January, when the government has given the notification to start the offline classes, 90% parents were praising my faculties, which was looking quite challenging in the month of July, that how they will go online classes, how they will manage it, how the Hindi language teacher will manage the technology. And after six or seven months, that cycle of online, which was very challenging, the teacher proved their worth because their hard work was not only appreciated, it was witnessed by the parents. So this was challenge in July, which was converted into gift when we went for the offline classes. Well, absolutely. So it is definitely not, not that uh, easy or very easy, I would say. Moving further, now we are overloaded with questions crossed almost 500 plus just to keep everyone updated we'll try as many questions we can answer today we'll try our best 
Webber, sir, this question: How are you working on yourself about your well-being and your social well-being? Because, as I said earlier as well, working with this experiential and involvement sort of a you know curriculum, so you try involving as as I have seen personally as well. You try involving with every single child, and so does your faculties are. So managing all these things together and going with all these things together, uh, what will be your intake towards this? uh i will address this question but i will just go back to one part uh, where um, if we talk about uh, not only me but you know for every teacher you know there was a phase there was a time there's a lot of burnout that had come i mean you know uh, teachers were as i told you putting 16 hours of effort and you know there was nobody to talk about them i mean they were you know uh, i If we all know these stories. I mean, these are very famous stories where I have to manage the kitchen, I have to manage my husband, I have to manage my wife, whichever gender we are into teaching. I have to manage my children. Is his network coming or not? You know, and uh, is is uh, is is my network okay? Is my planning okay? So I think uh, eventually there was a phase. There was a lot of burnout, and uh, and I think that is a time that we realized that okay, we we have to somehow you know I want to go here, but it's okay if I'm here. because i from here i have come to this level and it's okay if i'm not able to reach here so the teacher burnout was huge uh, and i think uh, fortunately we were able to uh, get a teachers on board uh, we had you know these small mini tiffin parties we had this food wagon parties we were playing together uh, we innovated games uh, uh, with masks uh, on and with social distancing how we can play uh, that is a part of uh, what actually personally rejuvenated me uh because when i could see uh, my my people happy when i could see them happy there was that that another rush in my body up kya ab aayega karna hai ab kuch naya kya lana hai you know and, uh, and 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 the second part if you talk about my personal uh, thing that uh, how was i able to do it okay uh yes after those 16 hours of burnout every day i think uh, uh my my family made uh, a clear rule for me that 7 o'clock in the evening you're coming in the house you're not working after that okay that's 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 not allowed so after that i was playing board games i was watching great movies and documentaries with them uh uh i was trying to complete you know there was a, like a season challenge that can you complete these four episodes back to back or not uh i was interacting a lot i going i was going for walks with my family i was meeting my friends uh i was cooking <laughs> so i think uh, uh there were many beautiful ways in which i was able to you know cut out this burnout and and be more happy uh, smile more uh that worked out so one side is my team and one side is my family so eventually that 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 whole compartment box was my was my booster uh, for me yeah <laughs> well definitely सिशोदिया सर आप कुछ बताना चाहेंगे इसी चीज के बारे में हाउ आर यू मैनेजिंग बिकॉज मैथ्स इज नॉट दैट इजी सब्जेक्ट एंड आई बिलीव आपको ज्यादा टाइम स्पेंड करना चाह पड़ता होगा अपने स्टूडेंट्स के साथ में तो हाउ आर यू मैनेजिंग योर वेलबीइंग व्हाइल बीइंग इन दिस पेंडेमिक एंड टीचिंग स्टूडेंट्स फ्रॉम होम सो यस सोशल वेलबीइंग इज लिमिटेड टू वर्चुअल ओनली लाइक ऑन व्हाट्सएप इंस्टा एंड फेसबुक now these uh, now the, the time of social platform uh, have been increasing day by day as you know uh, most of the time people usually busy in uh, responding answer student usually ask question sir how i will solve this i got stuck in this question here please help me please help me so we uh, are consuming too much time on whatsapp insta and most sometime facebook as well so we are fixing the time to check the uh, that we are checking whatsapp after an hour we will not check each and every time so we were are saving saving some time for our family or for uh, for our uh, personal uh, uh, hobbies so we uh, we are making a particular interval that we will check whatsapp and these all uh, social medias after an hour so we are not checking each and every time and we are not keeping phone uh, along with us so we are managing like this way otherwise a uh, student question never end at 11 o'clock night as well definitely well uh, this particular situation i can also accept that day and night and the kind of uh, calls and numbers we receive onto our ivr 
now we have started receiving voice messages as well from the students that what state they are in what sort of pressure they are going through and where do they need help so hats off and now definitely we all are understanding one fact which i'm happy with everyone is welcoming and ready to accept the fact that they are mentally not okay because hum sabko pata hai bukhar hai paracetamol khana hai cold hai crocine khana hai but if you are not mentally fit what to do so yes there are counselors there are people those who are here to help you your teachers your mentors and counselors to support you so now with this pandemic one thing which everyone have actually understood if they will really really want to speak to someone they should approach someone and everyone should be ready to you know listen otherwise till now we were always ready to speak acceptance was not there too much among people you know so listening ability have increased among uh, among students as well so that that one thing which pandemic has gifted to all of us any one of you would like to give a uh, take on this particular thing this is just my opinion i very much agree with you uh, what we call about socialization no? that was missing from the society if you go back uh, 2020 before because even if they are sitting in the family uh, they have very limited time at home and that time also they stay busy with their mobile or with the tv or other things but during this pandemic period people realized the importance of family and friend and rightly you rightly said he this has given us that how important is socialization otherwise if your kids are at home you will find for a time being they are with you at other time they are busy in other their own assignments but this time we have got enough time to interact with each other uh, i was able to connect myself with more than my 20 old friends because i was that much everybody whether weber or uh, sandeep ji once you are in the profession you are that much involved you don't have time for these things but fortunately uh, what you are saying gifted by the pandemic we were able to connect ourselves with those people with whom we are not connected from last number of years well yes definitely weber sir would you like to add something to it <coughs> sorry uh i think uh, uh this pandemic has taught a lot uh, i can share experiences where you know uh, we gave a roti making challenge to our children right we we gave challenges that uh, uh, how much time do you need to make uh, 10 rotis or 15 rotis or can you make 100 rotis for your family okay and we took pictures and sent it to us we told them uh, you have to help mama at home and uh, can you make a very special broom because generally the brooms are not able to go under the you know under the cupboard space that the narrow space i uh, will be able to uh, design a broom and you won't believe we got such beautiful ideas uh, we we gave uh, uh, thoughts to children like uh, uh, let's watch uh, uh, a documentary uh, have you ever thought uh, uh, how is uh, a pepsi can made or do you think uh, have you ever seen a documentary on uh, uh, how our engines design so i mean uh, the pandemic itself took out so many opportunities for me as an educator and for us as school teachers and leaders that that we just can't imagine right so i think uh, uh, we never knew that uh, uh, there, there are so many beautiful applications like desmos and geogebra uh, there are so many great already designed developed simulations on on our phd uh, which which allow children to learn on themselves we always thought that ki nahi main experiment karunga to bachcha pasand aayega but i think that that channel has broken now children are way more quick way more fast and i think uh, uh this time has uh, you know made me believe one thing very strong ki jaha chaha waha raha right and uh, uh, and and it is it is a fact i'm telling you i have never seen into any kind of service or manufacturing sector where the transition of uh, one mode to another mode has been so fast i can challenge you there is no 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 not even one single uh, uh uh area where within 60 days the whole transformation has happened from physical to digital it's impossible and that has been made possible by the teachers by the parent support and then eventually children so you know it has been such a beautiful overall journey that you have come to know that 
uh, 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 there is lot more into the into the tv than tarak mehta ka ulta chashma there is lot more into the into the uh, into the sector of uh, gaining and learning knowledge apart from one book that i have with me right uh, and and i'm telling you that uh, all those children who have uh, you know picked up on this opportunity ke mai school nahi ja pa raha school team mein band hai do mein band hai mai isme additional kya kar sakta hu these children who have done that additional things they will reap these benefits five years down the line six years down the line because they have valued that time they have valued those efforts and i will really appreciate those parents who have been able to understand this so i think uh, at the end when you are going to share something that uh, how uh, how how should we look ahead i'll i'll share some more ideas at that point of time yeah well it's just wow so one thing which we all can learn through this is learning never ends and know what whatever situation comes to us we should be ready to accept it face it and learn something out of it learning should never end moving further another important question for joshi sir so how satisfied are you with the current learning model at your school and how is it helping so currently we are going through with virtual but still so from the past one to today's one over to you sir uh, see we cannot live in a static world uh, we have to be uh, go through the dynamic approach and this is in terms of education also uh, we were not well prepared somewhere in march 2020 uh, that we will go with the online classes will have to use technology up to this extent but uh, as i said you have to go with that dynamic approach what changes are offered to you you have to accept it and successfully deal with it so if i look into my own campus i am very much satisfied as i told you earlier also initially i was having a threat that we are running a boarding school and whether we will able to maintain our strength or not because in online classes their limitations were there we are aware about it how to make it interesting these all puzzles were there but regular meetings motivation to the teachers motivation to the students teachers training this all together helped us to just go through this phase of online teaching successfully and today i will accept it that we are same with manner we are confident the way we are confident with the offline classes and now we have to accept it that uh, may possible that we'll have to go for with this uh, virtual way of teaching online teaching and this has been you can say learned by everyone in the campus and that realization is also there initially if and buts were there but today everybody looks confident and whenever you ask them that if we have to go for one more year what i feel that we we must have this mindset looking into the present scenario now everybody looks very confident whether it is a parent student or teachers so i feel that we were able to successfully deal with this shift from offline to online well yes definitely and i believe uh, as per the boarding school point of view and like the way you people have been putting up efforts where from meeting students day and night eating together spending or living like a family and now on a distant mode definitely so your students are actually waiting to come to school sir and number of questions we have received from your students when we posted it sent sent it across they are seriously missing school like anything they are missing they are not really they are waiting to come to their home so they are thinking that they are not at home currently they have been sent somewhere to live for a couple of days so that you must be i will add one more thing if you permit me yeah, yeah. Uh, with, the, with the boarding school see what happens if you spend 2 3 years in a boarding school no so you are in the habit of moving out like uh, playing games uh, going to the you can say health club Uh, going for the mass so when in the uh, march lockdown was imposed and they were kept in houses for 6 7 month and when they enter in the campus the smile the you can say the movement of the boarders it was looking that uh, they are coming out of that world where they were in the cage matlab unko dekh ke unki khushi dekh ke 
तब हमें एहसास हुआ कि एज ए बोर्डिंग स्कूल हम बच्चों को देते क्या है एंड इवन वेन द रिसेंटली गवर्नमेंट इम्पोज द लॉकडाउन पेरेंट्स वॉज आफ्टर मी अरे सर आप रख लो स्कूल में रख लो बिकॉज द पेरेंट कंडीशन इज ऑल्सो सेम बिकॉज कीपिंग दो किड्स इन साइड द हाउस वॉज नॉट सो इजी सो इन दिस पैंडमिक पेरेंट ऑल्सो रियलाइज द इम्पैक्ट एंड इंपॉर्टेंस ऑफ स्कूल एंड टीचर्स कि हाउ दे मैनेज फॉर एट आवर्स और हाउ दे मैनेज फॉर ट्वेंटी फोर सेवन वेन वी कैन नॉट मैनेज दम फॉर द फोर और फाइव मंथ इन साइड द हाउस सो दैट इज द प्लस पॉइंट you want to say something web of sir i think um no no i am comfortable i think i think what what he is saying is it means a lot because i have never been uh, addressing a boarding school concept imagine i mean you know when sir is saying that uh, so i think uh, i remember one of your shows in which one of the child told that uh, when we met after a long time in school when the children we were literally seeing each other's face and we were crying so you know uh that whole aspect of uh, love care and compassion is something that each and every school has to now embrace unfortunately i am i don't know if when schools are going to open up okay but you know aapke paas eight sessions hai na din ke usme se six sessions kar dijiye par wo two session gappe mari gossip kariye bachcho ke sath unko chhod dijiye gappe marne ke liye main bata raha hu magic will happen zaruri hai ye If we are humans, right? <laughs> That's what, yeah. Well, I wish कि हमारे पास में Zoom जैसा feature होता जिसमें I could give reactions and clap and applaud and then thumbs up. Definitely. Yes, today and that is the reason. Uh, let me tell you the reason we all uh, four are here first. So one, the very difficult subject for all the students out there. Yes, mathematics. Number of. Another one. Joshi sir from L K Singh Ghania again boarding school and Vibhav sir from Alma Mater a very experiential learning uh, way and treating students so there are three different experience which three different schools in a three different manner treating students and guiding them and they are all doing it for good and trying their best so there are three different approaches and three different areas when we were thinking how we can address all these questions so we were trying to answer samjhane ki and samajhne ki koshish kar rahe the ki teen alag alag tarikon se shayad bachcho ko samjha payenge parents ko aur teachers ko bhi to would be a absolutely different way kyunki har koi bolega aise nahi ye situation to aapne dekha hi nahi hai so now we are in all areas so that everyone would be able to understand boarding इंडिविजुअल डिफरेंट सब्जेक्ट क्योंकि सब साइंस मैथ्स को बर्डन ले रहे हैं या फिर अदर वे ऑफ एक्सपीरियंशियल लर्निंग विच स्टूडेंट्स लर्न एट एलवा मैटर हैक्स ऑफ वॉट यू गाइज आर डूइंग अगेन आई एम ओवर लोडेड सो आई ट्राई फिनिशिंग फ्यू मोर क्वेश्चन मूविंग फर्दर जोशी सर हाउ सॉरी सिशोदिया सर कंपेयर टू पास्ट फ्यू इयर्स हाउ इजी और डिफिकल्ट इज टू बिल्ड रिलेशनशिप विद योर स्टूडेंट्स अभी तक तो बच्चे से आप मिलते थे एंड दे आर वेरी मच एक्साइटेड आई नो लाइक द वे दे आर पोरिंग अप क्वेश्चन हेयर एंड अपलॉडिंग फॉर यू बट अब आपका रिलेशनशिप का प्रोसेस उनके साथ में कैसा रह रहा है बिकॉज दे आर मिसिंग दे आर दे आर स्ट्रेट फॉरवर्ड दे आर स्ट्रेस्ड एज वेल वाइल कमिंग टू बोर्ड फेसिंग बोर्ड एज वेल सो डेफिनेटली दे आर मिसिंग प्रॉब्ली फॉर फेसिंग बोर्ड और they are missing you personally because you give them give them a great smile which the students have been messaging here so you give them a different smile we would like to hear from you how do you make them smile virtually sir yes ma'am actually mana andhera gana hai magar diya jalana kahan mana hai i strongly believe in this the sentence given by narendra modi he always tell whatever situation is tough whatever what kind of situation you are suffering from whatever difficulties you are facing but your small efforts toward the betterment always become a driving force for the student when we face the student presently most of the student we uh, we can recognize from their voice only because most of the time student usually not switch on their cameras so now we are our ear are working more than eyes in, uh, in when we usually in school so our eyes work a lot we look toward the student how what they are doing what their body language is but right now in uh, online classes 
our ears are working a lot so from their voice from a, a, a way of asking question we can understand yes what they actually trying to try to understand these thing and in this matter we uh, our experience is the most important uh, asset for us because uh, when they usually ask any kind of question so we can understand the depth of the question yes what he ultimately uh, want to ask uh, in online uh, classes most of the students usually not able to ask uh, question as they usually ask in class actually in class they usually tell sir i have problem with this uh, particular step so this how you will solve this line but online classes we have to listen very carefully that what is the intention of the student what he trying to ask and in that matter only our experience help a lot because the question asked by that particular child uh, being asked by several uh, hundred times from other student so from their uh, point of view we can guide them uh, and we are creating he uh, healthy relation with the student when they usually ask any kind of question related to mathematics and if still his child is not getting in that way so we take uh, the other time uh, for him or her and uh, we take uh, we give time uh, after classes through whatsapp or any other video or audio uh, doubt session clear so that is the reason sir students are still waiting and they say you bring smile on their faces every time this is for the first time to be honest maine suna hu ki bacche maths ki class ki teacher ka itna wait kar rahe hain aur keh rahe hain ki wahi humko hasa sakta hai otherwise this my concept was ki math is the difficult subject so you must be teaching in a very uh, truly in a different manner actually ma'am i am not a orator and i am not a, a big speaker i am simple maths teacher and i know mm -hmm. how to teach maths only so when uh, i i i can understand what they are asking i i can get because i am i was also also a ordinary math student i was not a great student in my school life i usually not ask question uh, when uh, when i face problem so i struggle with question for lot many uh, so many times so i can understand their uh, their way of asking question in a better way a little bit in comparison to bright students well yes there are people saying mathematician you are definitely we are with another mathematician today moving further another important question joshi sir can can you please tell uh, our students out there one of your incident uh, in your career where your student made you proud and how does it feel since while uh, going through with your profile it is huge you have been to number of schools in a very senior position so that one incident which everyone would like to hear from you sir how was your experience uh, see, uh, see when uh, teaching is not your profession your passion Uh, like uh, i was listening sandeep sir that looks from his gesture only mathematics is not his profession that is his passion and with your passion if you spend 30 plus years so certainly you might as a teacher you might have contributed in the life of number of students and once these they leave the campus they are the real ambassador for the school and it is not about what type of jobs they are going for what type of packages they are getting the very important thing is that what moral values what social values we are we have given to them that is very important and i always believe in it and that's why even if they leave the campus after that also i make my connections with them and you are asking about a single student proudly i can say that whosoever left this campus because already in this campus i spent 25 plus years they all made us proud it's not a question of that how much percentage you got it's a question that how you serve the society and i am narrating the incident of today itself one of my old student kuldeep i got to know through the facebook that at present he is in us and for the welfare of the in his village for the uh, this primary community center health center sorry primary health center he contributed the amount of 5 lakhs the amount is not important the important is while staying in us and he is keeping the touch and for the villagers for his village and if we able to teach these social values to our students it's not a matter of proud for individual that will be proud for the entire society 
but why today we are suffering somewhere we are giving good percentage we are giving quality education but what is very important that how they can give benefit to the society over these issues we are not focusing i feel that as a teacher if along with my subject if i talk about those social values and i make my child equipped with those social values certainly that child is going to contribute in the society definitely sir well we all were waiting and every teacher there are many teachers who really wanted to listen this so now they all know webof sir anything you would like to share on this note please i think one of the most important uh, part uh, or the one of the most important skill uh, that children need to attain uh, in this is in, in this uh, era is that empathy is very important okay and uh, uh, the second most important thing i feel is that uh, uh, they don't have to be you know master of one subject they need to be masters of multiple subjects um so uh, uh, when 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 sure uh, when when uh, uh, so sodia sir and uh, when josh sir shared uh, their in insights what what makes me uh, uh, you know uh, there has been an instance which is very strong for me uh, where uh, sometimes when they are in my session uh, in the session they have understood right but then whenever we talk about uh, uh, you know uh, getting the understanding in place the, the same thing has to be repeated seven times in seven different ways then you can say that the understanding has fallen in the uh, in the head of the child right uh, in physical schools these seven ways are very very easy right but then in virtual school you know children are so beautiful in their own ways that i took my session the child understood he said yes i can go ahead i can solve this question i can get i can show it my understanding to you but then he you know he contacts his peer without my permission and that's the, that, that's the beauty of it you know that without my permission he contacts his peer friend ki yaar bhai thoda samjha dena ek bar wapas ye mujhe samajh mein to aa gaya hai par mujhe bata de ko acche se samajh mein aa gaya to ek bar wapas mujhe samjha de Now, this used to happen very beautiful in the school when you're physically there you know we we used to give opportunities to children okay when i came to know about this it talks a lot about what are we building children to be we are saying help no matter what whatever your condition is as, as sir told you know that you said all it's not about 5 lakh rupees ki baat nahi hai agar maine 5 rupees bhi diye hain it talks a lot about me so i think empathy is something that always uh, uh, i am looking uh, in children in in the teacher team into the organization and into the system okay and i'll tell you so many great examples have come i mean in these years i mean look at this last two months the second strain of virus came in and you can see so many people have said tiffin services as had as 50 rupees you get a full meal what you don't get it anywhere i'm telling you minimum you have to spend 150 175 for a good meal people are donating cylinders people are uh, they they're willing to do it that willingness is there it's it's so important that the opportunity has to be given i remember there has been a very famous video where there's a child there's a teaching session and it is uh, the teacher doesn't have time to cook so children say ma'am maybe there would be a, some some guy who is waiting for you outside with, with something can you just go and collect it oh yes yes i'm coming back she gets a magdi package uh from from all the children ma'am we have been in so much but the just one small packet which which has a value of only you know 125 rupees but look at the emotions that the teacher is carrying with her so i think empathy and and the opportunities of being empathetic uh have to be generated more and that what has driven me over this period of time yeah well that's great so looking forward to your opinion another very important question and which we are all here today yes the future what changes do you all feel or think that this will actually bring the big change in education system and this is for you all and i would request you one by one if you all can take so starting from sishodhya sir online class is the reality now and everyone should understand this now online classes now become the part of of school when this pandemic will be over 
then these online class will still continue so every teacher every uh, uh, trainer should uh, learn these all uh, tactics of online and they should be very much equipped with all technological uh, platform those are helpful in teaching so the future uh, is uh, uh, because uh, this, this digital war is also uh, uh, is also running uh, simultaneously a lot of platform will come but most important thing is this teacher and student the biggest platform is the teacher and the student whatever platform is coming i will not speak the name of those platform you all know very well these platform help us up to some extent but when the doubt specific doubt comes from student side only and only teacher help at that moment no platform no any other extra devices help at that moment so i strongly believe that these uh, uh, online classes will continue forever and now the, the biggest uh, problem that we are facing nowadays is the internet speed in india the internet speed is very very bad and in that situation uh, uh, teaching through video lecture directly video lecture is very very difficult that's why some alternative uh, um, uh, things the teacher has developed by sharing screen or switching off their videos so that student can uh, can write what we actually we are writing the most important thing that we need uh, uh, presently in india that speed of internet so whatever uh, time will come whether the corona come or go but online teaching will continue forever everyone should understand this thing and most important thing we have to develop some examination system as well so that we can actually evaluate the children what, whether they actually know these things or they are writing these things from somewhere um, by unfair means so this is very 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 important we need to develop examination system as well so that we can uh, uh, we can evaluate them uh, unbiasedly joshi sir Uh, if you talk about future education, uh, no doubt soon we'll have the new education policy also. And if you go through the new education policy, it talks about the shift from engaging a student to empowering a student. And this is the future education, I think so. Because what technology, what methodology we are using today, in that you'll find maximum efforts are for engaging a student we have to engage them with our syllabus we have to engage them with our uh, timetable we have to engage them with our passion we have to engage them with our interest whether the interests are thrown by the parents or by the you can say teachers but future education i think it is all about empowering student giving them to decide of their own have the decision making because they are going towards that direction and I think that in the future, we will define education in a different way. Because till date, what we are teaching to a student, education is all about learning. But hopefully in the future education, this is my own concept, we'll have to teach our student that education is not just about learning. Education is about learning to use yourself, learning to use your body, your mind, your emotion, everything in a certain way. And this is what I feel future education is all about. Well, certainly, sir. Webber, sir, your take, please. Uh, I, I totally second thoughts of uh, uh, Sandeep, sir, and Josh, sir. Uh, I would like to categorize this entire uh, uh, future into three different uh, pockets. Uh, one is for parents, one is for students, and one is for teachers. Uh, I would like to start with students because I, th I think there are many children who are here right now. Uh, this pandemic and this entire system that we're going through has taught us one thing that if I want to learn Chinese or, you know, French or, you know, German, I always used to hunt for teachers within Jodhpur or within my area. Is there any teacher or not? Is there any teacher or not? Right. Don't you think you can have the best of the German teacher? teaching you now? Don't you think you can have the best of the Chinese teachers from China teaching you now? There are so many beautiful websites which are giving you this opportunity now where accredited teachers, awarded teachers are ready to take you for the sessions online. 
so maybe you are you you are studying all your seven to eight subjects out there in school okay but one specialization you can take it from here uh, and and it's very important for children to understand here that for your near future okay the examination officers are not going to look at how many have you scored or have you just got a 12th pass certificate of last year or this coming year which you might get of 10th and 12th they're not going to look at that they are going to look at that you were at home you were having six years of classes what additional value addition have you done apart from your schooling did you go to udemy did you go to any online classes did you develop any other skill okay everything is available online for you we can't say that i need to go to any space as i told you whatever whenever wherever why can't you finish a course which is an online course which is a 30 day course midnight who said no this is what this has been brought to all of us right uh, for 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 teachers it is very important to understand here that professional development is not limited to going to mumbai hyderabad chennai or delhi or jaipur it is now worldwide you can learn from the best of the best trainers whom you have been craving for at a very minimalistic cost you don't have to travel you don't have to leave home and we are indians you know some there's some people that need to understand that hamari family hamara alarm nahi karegi you know there are all these sab cheeze hoti hai but if i can do it online that brings a different scenario to your resume to your own uh, uh, to your own awareness of what education is doing in the world and and for parents i would say that it's very important that for children you have to make short term goals now let's say another year of pending is going on okay a short term goal is what what is a short term goal it it is basically around enhancing your awareness okay are you sitting with a child to map the budget of the house are you sitting with a child to map a trip to america or a trip to uh, to kuala lumpur or trip to just you know you know a tiruvananthapuram and are you teaching him that skills or not are you involving your child uh, to see some really good awesome documentaries which are available free of cost online as i told you right like, i mean it's so important to to go and 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 just just go into the uh, how it's made how do you think a bottle is designed how do you think the world's most busiest airport heathrow airport transfers all the packages to the proper flights the internal tunneling system who is elon musk who's then to de develop and design so many beautiful reusable rockets so i mean it's very important to spend that quality time with the children and this is the best time you know the man, i i keep on saying ki jab aapka bachcha uh, chalna sikh raha tha to ab hamesha uske sath the na it's very important that same phase has come to you you are very lucky to have that okay meet your teachers meet your principal leaders meet educators and ask them main apne bachche ke sath kya karu if you can't do that go online just i don't 10 activities i can do with my child at home age 14 years age 10 years age 8 years i'm telling you there are sort of ideas that you're going to get so um hum kehte na puri duniya mutthi mein wo ho chuka hai and you just have to open that mutthi and find out what beautiful things you can do so i think that is the future ma'am well again i am so overwhelmed i'm so happy and excited and i have no words to be honest there are three different directions and great experience all my parents students and teachers are getting from you all definitely thank you thank you so much again we are overloaded but as we all know the clock is ticking time felt like a pleasant breeze today we are grateful to you for talking and taking your time out explaining and handling all these questions which were pouring and coming up to parents students and teachers mind thanks to both of you for sharing and sharing all your opinions and your viewpoints answering all the queries of our students i'm sure that it is a value added for both for parents students and definitely not only for these two but also for our teachers too i also thank our viewers and all the school those who are hosting it onto their channel today not only the facebook and social media platforms 
all for posting their queries onto our platform for their love and support and helping us to bring all such an one on another speaker onto the platform and answer all these questions to you all thank you thank you so much to all the speakers gratitude from the bottom of my heart we will see you once again to answer all your questions till then please stay healthy stay safe and take care and remember choose your career by choice not by chance thank you so much thank you so much thank you thank you so much ma'am thank you